I mean, they say it, nutrition's the fourth discipline of triathlon. There's swim, bike, run, and you're fueling. And if you don't get hit, hit it right on the day, then it affects your entire race. In Oceanside, I was testing a new bike out and I had new cages and everything and did, you don't get to pre-ride the course and so on a big bump that I wasn't aware of pre beforehand I lost my frame bottle with all of my carbs in it okay no problem I'll do Gatorade from here on out I've done Gatorade for races before it's not a problem and then I get to the aid station grab a Gatorade bottle and it turns out my my front cage doesn't fit a Gatorade bottle I can't hold it I don't I got one hand here holding this thing I can't get it down my shirt or anything I don't have a rear cage I have nowhere to put it and now I'm like you know three quarters panic attack being like wow I'm gonna do a 70.3 and not eat or drink anything actually my Last two Ironmans last year, I lost half my nutrition on the bike both races. Obviously at first you're like, well this sucks, there's half my nutrition, but then you immediately, I immediately just go into, okay, how am I going to remedy this situation? And then I just formulate a plan, okay, I need to make up this many calories and so I need to grab this many gels at the next aid station and then you just get on with it. Racing, I've often, uh, I mean, I've had problems where I haven't gotten a bottle at an aid station, so I've gotten dehydrated or just actually took in too many calories, so it's bloated or, or too few, but um, I'm always of the opinion that when you race, like nutritional errors are, they're, they're on the individual and they shouldn't really be talked about too much and that if you practice uh, fueling right and, and just actually being like flexible in your fueling that you can bounce back from any nutritional errors in a race. I have numerous stories about messing up my nutrition and hydration in races. I mean, they say it, nutrition's the fourth discipline of triathlon, there's swim, bike, run, and you're fueling. And if you don't get hit, hit it right on the day, then it affects your entire race. Yeah, I've literally had numerous <laughs> examples of race stories I can tell of just walking, uh, be, having to hit every single porta potty on the course, fully bonking, cramping. I've walked numerous marathons just because I didn't get it right and I was fully just depleted. So nailing your nutrition is, is key. <laughs> I raced St. George, the World Championships, and I came out on the run course. You know, for the first time, actually, I got nutrition on point until T2. And I was pretty proud of that because that can be difficult on a, on a full, uh, full distance. I started running and I, you know, the, the legs did not feel that great but um, came to the first professional aid station where my bottle, I put my, my bottle in the morning um, and it wasn't there. And I was like, oh, <laughs> maybe they just forgot to put it out. And uh, you know, that's, we just have to keep running. Um, and the next aid station, it wasn't there. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be a struggle. 